when he's hitting, do you hit open a little bit? A little, I start, I start open. You start open, okay, and then you go to close. If he's hitting this shallow going open, when he gets ready to hit, I guarantee you his momentum is going towards the shortstop. Because he's a good athlete, not only he's a tennis player, and everything is about balance, okay? So if I'm left-handed hitter like you, and I'm here hitting open, when I go to close, where am I going? All I'm going to ask you to do, stay here, spread out a little bit more. I want him to take this knee and turn this knee right here towards his foot. Just the knee. Now when he did that, his hips are already preloaded. He ready to fire. When you eliminate stuff you don't have to do, you make more time. Wait on Uncle Charlie. Okay, you got me? All he's gonna do is become a Colorado Rocket. Don't turn your foot. Yes, you need. So you're hitting open. I'm left-handed. You're hitting open here. No big back. Turn your knee. So when he goes from here, he's not gonna do this anymore. Lower and go back. All he's gonna do is go from here, kick his foot that way, and go forward. Right-handed third base, Arenado could be MVP every year. He is. Arenado. Here we go. Turn in. Everybody remember Tula Whisper? Tula from California. My time. Here's Tula. The reason why they do it is they already preloaded their hips. So when you preload your hips, all I'm doing is going forward. See, the Cubans say, no, we don't go back. We go forward. We can't make money on this island until we hit them off this island. Now, when he's swinging, his right eye, because he's right left handed. It's his dominant eye, right here. So when he's swinging, you guys have been taught pitch middle end, you hit it out here. Pitch down the middle, you hit it right there. Pitch outside, you hit it back there. You know what the Cubans say? No. You all get two eyes, you get seen. So when you keep, as a left handed hitter, when you keep your right eye down, guess what happens? Business picks up. Because this eye right here, if I'm looking at a pitch, and I keep this eye in, pitch middle in, fair, not foul. Pitch down the middle, back up the middle. Pitch to the outside, there. All my eyes are in the same spot. They have a terminology, you eat where you hit. So if you eat steak and lobster, you ain't gonna dip it in the butter and do it like this. No, you gonna eat where you hit. So all you gotta do is remember to keep your eyes down and your back will be where you hit. It's not by accident, your eyes create where your plane is. All you got on TV, get your stick. Most guys get with this band because that's what they like. But the problem with when you got the band, you can't hit from your ear, you have to hit from here. See how easy this moves? Like he knows he's a bad boy tennis. So when he hits a tennis ball, he goes here, but he gets on playing with the ball to get under it. All you guys have heard about elevation, create an angle. Well, let me tell you this. If your coach lets you like to strike out a lot, cool, no problem. If he don't want you to strike out a lot, you got some problem. Because to create elevation is all here. Joe Morgan from Oakland, my good friend, had the chicken wing. Everybody thought Joe Morgan had a little twitch or something. There wasn't no twitch, because when Joe hit, his name was Little Joe. Joe did talk. Joe did this, so he reminded himself to get here to get there. I get this down and cook it in. You guys want to hit like this. Now, where's this elbow got to go? Back down here? Where do you think the pitch is going? Well, let me wait till he gets his elbow down. No. The reason why I say your proper position for hitting with your elbow, if I put my bat like Buster Pose and Gold Smith on the West Coast, here they go. Here's my man Bellinger. Bellinger goes from here, stacks. When my bat is stacked, guess what these bat is? Totally weight. There's no way. It's like when you go in here with your tennis bat. It just drops. So when you stack here, it's weightless. So if you guys have this avenue up here, problem. When you go to low, I don't care if you start, you got to stack. Once you stack here, you ain't going to swing like that because you look stupid. When you stack, you ain't going to swing. When you go here, guess what's giving you? That automatic. That's that. Not here. 
You follow me? That, so when I stack automatically, you don't see You guys been taught, if your hands here, you line up your knuckles. Everybody line them up. But when you line up your knuckles, everything's cool. But when you get out here, you ain't got no juice. Your strength in your hand is here. I'm stacked. When I'm going here, and I go here, now I'm using this. So when I get here, boom. Ted Williams said, the strongest hand is the one that's closest to here. This is the hand. This is one that controls it. Four and a half inches right here. That's it. Remember, you got two eyes, you right-handed. If you keep your left eye down, left eye down, pitch middle of the way. Coach ain't gonna have to yell. Let it travel. Let it try. All my career. Guys, let it travel. It's in the air, point four seconds, less than a half. I can't make a decision. Oh, I said, this ain't it. Oh. What I can do is control this four and a half inch sweet spot to get it to that baseball to bid pay. If I keep this eye, right hand hitter, if I keep this eye here, pitch is middle away, I got it. Pitch down the middle, I got it. Pitch inside, I got it. But it's fair. As soon as I start doing old school, get this pitch inside, I gotta get it out there. Yeah, but guess what? Where's my eyes? And guess what? If you just threw a breaking ball, that's a double play. So your eyes are real important. You eat where you hit. You got me? If you guys can remember that, somebody's gonna pay you. You see, when I go to Georgia Tech and I see them, and I don't see you guys, then I got a problem. That means somebody out there, all these dudes, is getting paid. Ain't doing their job. Any questions?